the lack of expert women appearing on radio and television has become a hot topic. Recent figures for news programmes highlight the glaring disparity in male to female contributors. But putting yourself in the media spotlight can be a daunting experience. For women in particular, it can feel intimidating and fraught with hazards. Stand by studio. Three, two, one, and cue. That's why we've designed a unique course that brings expert women, such as fellows of the Academy of Medical Sciences, into the heart of the media world for an action-packed day of hands-on training. Well, I spend a lot of time thinking about When medical stories hit the headlines, journalists like me are looking to speak to somebody who's the most trusted, the most senior source of authority on that subject. Fellowship of the Academy is an important mark of authority and it gives us the credibility that we're seeking. But what if the expert that is most knowledgeable on a subject is reluctant to comment? By offering bespoke coaching delivered by a diverse team of specialists, we can transform media skills and provide a genuine insight into how broadcasters and journalists operate. Business press office and the government who weren't able to put a minister on the program today. I found the media training really excellent and it exceeded my expectations. It was studio based and because it was very practical, it took away the element of surprise for a future occasion and I will be much more confident when I'm asked to do be in front of cameras or be in front of the press. We use professional facilities shared with the BBC, ITV and Sky where we will familiarise attendees with everything they need to know about the TV and radio setup. This is a group of people who are really suffering, can't talk, can't raise these issues, need more services. Participants will learn invaluable techniques for handling live debates as well as pre-recorded soundbites and remote down-the-line interviews. It's greatly concerning that women are not doing... And after closely monitoring each performance, we'll review, discuss and suggest ways to improve. Can we rehearse the headlines now, please? I've been editing television programmes for the last 20 years, overseeing hundreds of hours of live broadcasting. Now I want to share some of my insider knowledge. They're simple tips and techniques that can transform a contributor from being nervous and self-conscious to being a really compelling, dynamic speaker. As Director of Communications at the Academy, Nick Hillier is committed to increasing the number of women engaging with the media. Many of our fellows have been offered standard media training before. But lots of them emphasised that they lacked practical training that was geared towards them as a senior academic. And most importantly, this training brings them together as a group of senior women to discuss and acknowledge issues like tone of voice and body language, clothing and appearance, which are all really important for boosting their confidence and hard discussions to have with junior colleagues. Of course, fellows of the Academy of Medical Sciences specialise in subjects that are complex, difficult, often controversial and translating those areas into accessible media interviews requires particular skills. As an experienced television news presenter and correspondent, it's my specialism to be able to turn really complex and challenging subject matter into something that is in plain English, easy to understand and interesting to an audience. I'll be working with the group to help them in the process of preparing key messages, developing their story and turning it into something that is accessible and above all interesting to an audience. Who's to blame? I'm not sure blame's the right word. Clear messaging is vital, but we've also been surprised at how popular the session on clothes and appearance have been. We're talking about brilliant women at the top of their field, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. What on earth should it matter what they look like? Well, unfortunately, the sad truth is, if you get your appearance wrong, nobody's listening to a word that you're saying. Our training is comprehensive and wide-ranging, and tailored exactly to meet each group's needs. Feedback from fellows who've undertaken the course has been outstanding. Everyone has found it really valuable and enjoyable too. I highly recommend that other fellows take advantage of this course. It was fascinating and helpful and really transformed my confidence for the future being in front of the media and the press.